have avoided this movie for many, many years because I look at the cover of it and I just think, I don't want to watch it. I don't have anything against it. I think maybe it's because my sister watched uh, Pretty in Pink, I think it is, a gazillion times. And I got my fill of Molly. I've obviously seen like the shot of the dude jumping in the air with his arm in the air. <laughs> I know they're in like detention, I think. I guess that's why I'm here, right? Because I have to watch all of the movies that I've never seen. So I'm hoping that I'm just wrong and that this is legitimately a good movie and that I've just kind of like been missing out all these years. <laughs> it is highly rated. It's dubbed one of the most iconic movies of all time. I am on a mission after all to becoming the ultimate cinephile and that includes watching The Breakfast Club. If you want to follow me on my journey to watching every other movie that's on my list, then you should hit the like and subscribe button. If you feel like it. Time to watch The Breakfast Club. I have pimento olives this time. They're a little bit tinier. It's so absurd I have to be here on a Saturday. Oh, it's Saturday school. Hey, I screwed around. Guys screw around. There's nothing wrong with that. Emilio! I'm guessing he's the athlete. Ponder the error of your ways. Oh, God! Ugh. I don't do loogies. Who does that? All right, people, we're going to try something a little different today. We are going to write an essay. No less than a thousand words. Describing to me who you think you are. You'll learn a little something about yourself. Has he held back a couple of years? Does Barry Manilow know that you raid his wardrobe? What does she do? She's biting her nails off? Ugh. <laughs> you keep eating your hand, you're not going to be hungry for lunch. I've seen you before, you know. Don't they go to school together? <laughs> and always. <laughs> what are we supposed to do if we have to take a piss? Leave. You gotta go. You gotta go. No, he's not. Hey, you're not urinating in here, man. Don't talk. Don't talk. It makes her crawl back up. You whip it out and you're dead before the first drop hits the floor. Why don't you go close that door? We'll get the prom queen impregnated. You think this movie would fly today? You know, Bender, you don't even count. I mean, if you disappear forever, it wouldn't make any difference. Oh. You may as well not even exist at this school. Ouch. That was pretty harsh. Come on, Bender, don't screw around. What are you gonna do? Drop dead, I hope. He just said he hopes I, he dies. Why is that door closed? How are we supposed to know? We're not supposed to move, right? We're just sitting here, like we're supposed to. They're joining forces. She doesn't talk, sir. What the f- Give me that screw. I don't have it. You want me to yank you out of that seat and shake it out of you? You go to jail for that now. <laughs> the door's way too heavy, sir. You're not fooling anybody, Bender. The next screw that falls out is going to be you. Eat my shorts. We'll keep going. You want another one? Say the word. Just say the word. Are you through? No. I'm doing society a favor. So? That's another one right now. <laughs> I've got you for the rest of your natural born life. If you don't watch your step, you want another one? Cut it out. You through? Dude, this scene is like perfectly done in not another teen movie. No. That's another one. So? You just say the word, I'll keep going. Go. Eeny, meeny, miny. Mo. Your mother was a ho. He was a famous clown. Bobo. Mitch, cut it out. The next time I have to come in here, I'm cracking skulls. I feel like he's old enough he could just like not even go back and be okay. I'm pretty sure most of us have done that with the string. Ew! That's disgusting! 
She's all proud. Girl, is head and shoulders invented yet? Mole really pumps my nads. Oh, yeah. Oh man, Betty wishes he could rewind a couple of minutes. You are a parent's wet dream, okay? You're a neo maxi zoom dweeby. Why do you have to insult everybody? Because he's unhappy with his own life. He's got a bad home life. What's your name? Yeah, what is your name? What's yours? Claire. Claire? Oh, it's a fat girl's name. Uh, but there are two kinds of fat people. There's fat people that were born to be fat, and there's fat people that were once thin, but they became fat. That's me. I sort of see that thin person inside. Dying to come out. You're gonna squeeze out a few puppies and then... Uh... Are you a virgin? I'll bet you a million dollars that you are. That's pretty douchey. White wedding. Why don't you just shut up? Have you ever kissed a boy on the mouth? What's wrong with that? I don't want to get into this with you, man. That's what he gets. When I'd kill you, and your fucking parents would sue me, and it'd be a big mess, and I don't care enough about you to bother. Ooh, he's got a knife. You don't talk to her. You don't look at her. And you don't even think <laughs> about her. You understand me? How does one become a janitor? You want to be a janitor? No, I just want to know how one becomes a janitor. Be <laughs> Falling a broom around after shitheads like you for the last eight years, I've learned a couple of things. I look through your letters, look through your lockers. <laughs> I do. I am the eyes and ears of this institution, my friend. Claire, you want to see a picture of a guy with elephantitis of the nuts? It's pretty Ugh. tasty. No, thank you. How do you think he rides a bike? He just doesn't. He doesn't need to ride a bike. Sushi, huh? What's that? Sushi. Ugh. You won't accept a guy's tongue in your mouth and you're going to eat that? Can I eat? Why is he so concerned with how much sex that she's had? Why she got moldy food? Captain Crunch. That's disgusting. All the food groups are represented. Did your mom marry sure. Mr. Rogers? Uh, no, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> Same diff. My impression of life at Big Bry's house. Son? Yeah, Dad? How's your day, pal? <laughs> Great, Dad. How's yours? But I've got homework. Okay. He obviously hit a, a nerve there. Guessing his parents aren't family? actually Come like on. that. Yeah, it's real easy. No sh Stupid, worthless, no good, goddamn freeloading son of a bitch. You forgot ugly, lazy, and disrespectful. Shut up, bitch! I think he was probably telling the truth. He has lots, lots of anger inside. Jeez. <laughs> He's got a guillotine in his locker. How do you manage that? We drugs. How do you not see him right there? 
like how you put on one different shoe. What if your dope was on fire? Impossible, sir. It's in Johnson's underwear. <gasps> oh, you think he's funny? You think this is cute? You think he's bitching? Is that it? Look at him. He's a bum. You want to see something funny? Uh. You go visit John Bender in five years. You'll see how goddamn funny he is. Damn. That's pretty harsh. Let's go. Hey, keep your fucking hands off Yeah, me. that's not cool. Hey, hey, come on, come on. Get on your feet, pal. Let's find out how tough you are. I want to know right now he's how trying tough to fight you him? are. Come on. I'll give you the first So he's got to deal with... Let's go. Oh, and now he's going to deal on. with this asshole, right too. Just take the first shot. Punch him. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Because then he'll just... He's trying to get him in trouble. This dude needs to do better. He just locked him in a closet? Naked lady says... Oh, shit! God's name is going on in here. What was that ruckus? You describe the ruckus, sir. <laughs> what is that noise? What noise? <gasps> Oh my god. I will not be made a fool of. <laughs> Dude, that's like one of my biggest fears. <coughs> he likes her, huh? Are they gonna hook up? And I hold his smoke. That's what it is. <laughs> He's in there hotboxing? Came out a changed man. <laughs> He's having a good old punch dance. Everybody needs a punch dance at least once in their lives. <laughs> he just goes back in. What the f Confidential files. Huh? Beat his ass, Carl. I would really appreciate it if, 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 if this would be something that you, you and I could, could keep between us. Got 50 bucks? I'll do anything sexual. I don't need a million dollars to do it either. I'm a nymphomaniac. Why? <laughs> Have you ever done it? No, didn't we already cover this? You never answered the question. What do you use it for then? I don't use it, period. Oh, are you medically frigid or is it psychological? I didn't mean it that way. Why are they pestering her about it? Come on, answer, answer the question. Come on, it's easy. It's only one question. No! I never did it! She's a virgin. So what? I never did it either. I figured she was lying. I'm not a nymphomaniac. I'm a compulsive liar. You are such a bitch. Is everybody just busting out with honesty now? Do you guys know what, uh, what I did to get in here? I taped Larry Lester's buns together. Well, they know how hairy he is, right? Well, when they pulled the tape off, most of his hair came off and some, some skin, too. Said I did it for my old man. What? Because I wanted him to think that I was cool. All the wild things he used to do. All I could think about was Larry's father and then Larry having to go home and explain what happened to him. Fucking humiliation he must have felt. Yeah. Andrew, you've got to be number one. Win! 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 That would be hard to deal with. Oh, uh, I just bit my tongue. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. Did she, like, put in her bra or something? My image of you is totally blown. Don't do that to her. You swore to God you wouldn't laugh. Am I laughing? You fucking prick. <laughs> okay, this took a turn. I may as well not even exist at this school, remember? Did say those things. You know, I have just as many feelings as you do, and it hurts just as much when somebody steps all over them. God, you're so pathetic. Don't you ever ever compare yourself to me okay you know what i got for christmas this year it was a banner fucking year at the old bender family i got a carton of cigarettes 
The old man grabbed me and said, hey, smoke up, Johnny. Okay, so go home and cry to your daddy. Don't cry here, okay? He's trying to compare himself to her. He said don't compare herself to him, but now he's, like, trying to make everyone compare to him. Like, I have the worst home life. My home life is worse than yours. You think I don't understand pressure, Claire? Well, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Jeez. What's going on here? I'm here. Mr. Ryan. Found a gun in the locker. Oh. I tried. He pulled the fucking... He tried to unalive himself? I can't have an F. I don't know my parents can have it. It was a handgun? It was a flare gun. It went off in my locker. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What do you think was going to happen? You want to know what I did to get in here? Nothing. Oh my god, I expected her to say I that. I didn't have anything better to do. Fully expected that. Damn! Oh, that's me for sure. Molly's over here, like, legit throwing down. <laughs> I wonder how many takes it took him to do that. Oh god, he's back up in the vein. Well, it's kind of a waste for all of us to write our paper, don't you think? You're the smartest, right? Well. <laughs> we trust you. Where are we going? Yeah, where are we going? Or she can put some makeup on her. Don't stick that in my eye. I'm not seeing it. Just close it. No, wait. Just close it. Go like that. What? Oh. She's very pretty. I knew she wanted him. I mean, he almost stuck his head in your crotch, but... Were you really disgusted about what I did with my lipstick? Truth. No. What's wrong? What's wrong? It's just... It's just so different. I thought she looked good in the black. See you, Brad. See you next Saturday. You bet. Ah, I had a feeling they were gonna hook up. Is she gonna stay like that though? Or is she gonna go put her black clothes back on? She gave him an earring, huh? What'd she give him the earring for? She just rocked his world. But what we found out is that each one of us is a brain. And an athlete. And a basket case. A princess. And a criminal. Sincerely yours, The Breakfast Club. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, that was The Breakfast Club. <laughs> The movie's been around my entire life because that movie's older than me and I just barely watched it for the first time. Okay, I'll admit it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was definitely like a coming of age type of movie. <clears throat> just a bunch of kids realizing that they're way more similar to each other than they think that they are. Everybody's got their own problems, even though some might seem more obvious than others, like the criminal. Some might assume that others don't have problems, like the princess and the brain <laughs> we're all on this rock together suffering i think a good message from this movie is to be kind to everyone because you have no idea what people are going through in their home life be it adults teens children it doesn't matter spread kindness i don't know if school was like that for real back in the 80s but is it normal to have like abusive teachers I felt like the one guy, I think his name was Johnny, right? I felt like he looked a little bit old to be in high school. He had to have been at least 25 playing a high school student. I figured we're supposed to assume like he got held back maybe a couple of years or something. And Molly Ringwald is... She's good. I actually like her. Every movie I've seen her in, she does a good job at acting. So that was cool. And then Emilio Estevez, of course. 
it was an all right movie. It wasn't like I, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was pretty funny. It had some funny parts in it. Maybe because I had already seen Not Another Teen Movie first. So that made it even funnier during some of those parts. <laughs> but it was pretty funny. If I had to rate it out of 10, I would give it like 7.1. I think it was a decent movie for sure. I don't know exactly what I expected. And it was just one of those things where I just saw the cover and just had like zero interest to watch it. <laughs> But I'm glad I did. It was a good movie. Well, that's that. I am off to the next one. If you made it this far, then I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. I hope that you all have an awesome rest of your day or night or wherever you are. I will see you guys later. Bye.